Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, it's your guy Big Will, and I'm back with this boxing talk. What's good with your fam fam? Hey listen man, this is the segment that I call Word on the Street. For those of y'all that are new to the channel, Word on the Street is when there are um, rumblings and discussions um, in the background, you know what I'm saying, in the sport of boxing that has yet to be formally announced, but... They are coming from very reliable sources, and the word on the street as of right now is that Amir Khan has chosen to accept Top Rank's offer to fight pound for pound King WBO welterweight champion um, Terrence Crawford. Now, the fight was originally um, planning on being uh, in March, but now they're 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 looking for April, um, sometime in April. Um, and they're looking to do it on pay-per-view, man. Um, I think, now, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you know that I've been talking about this story ever since, um, you know, the news broke that this was an option um, for Amir Khan, you know what I'm saying? And I made a video a couple of days ago stating that I do believe this is the best move for Amir Khan, man. I believe that he should go after the WBO championship. Terrence Crawford is considered by many to be um, pound for pound, best in the world. If not the best, people got him um, as the second best. You know what I'm saying? So Amir Khan having the opportunity to ups, upset um, Terrence Crawford, having the opportunity to win the WBO BO title, I think that is real big, man. And also a guarantee of $5 million um, plus the pay-per-view upside um, Amir Khan cannot go wrong, man, um, in my opinion. Um, Amir Khan can't fight. I do believe that, you know what I'm saying, this would be um, Terrence Crawford's biggest test to date. I think Amir Khan um, will be very, very good opponent for uh, Terrence Crawford. But I think Terrence Crawford will ultimately, like he does everybody else, figure Khan out and eventually um, stop con, but you know, you never know. You never know. This is the sport of boxing. Um, some, sometimes you think going to win, don't always win, man. What you think going to happen, don't always happen. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Amir Khan can't fight. He, he still got very fast hands. Um, he still has a little pop. Amir Khan has a lot of names on his resume, man. He has beaten a lot of very good, good boxers, man. Um, you know, but the only knock on Amir Khan is his chin. But if you if you think about it, Amir Khan has been knocked out by bigger, um, you know, elite guys, elite level guys, man. Um, you know, Canelo was a bigger guy. Canelo's an elite, elite fighter. Um, Danny Garcia, you know what I'm saying? I consider Danny Garcia to be an elite fighter. And I consider Danny Garcia to um, have good power. You understand what I'm saying? Um, although Amir Khan did get dropped in his last matchup against Sammy Vargas, um, I think he had a little lapse in 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 mental focus and you know got caught caught with a shot, man. But um, I think for a guy like Terence Crawford, um, Amir Khan will get up for the fight. He will be focused mentally. He will have to be focused mentally. Um, up until this point, I think this will be the the biggest fight of Amir Khan's career. Also. You know what I mean? This is this will be the biggest fight um of both of these guys' career, man. Um, you know, Terrence Crawford has had two fights at welterweight and has had two knockouts at welterweight. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's off to a great start, man. Amir Khan hasn't been as active um as he would liked, you know, in the last couple years, man. He took took some time off, man, um, after the knockout to with to Canelo. Um, he was on reality shows, man. He was having trouble with his wife and, you know, all type of out of the ring issues, man. But um, I think he's back with Virgil Hunter. You know, Virgil Hunter is is like the uh, the the boxer whisperer, man. He knows how to he knows how to say things to them to the fighters, man, to get them to focus, man, and to you know uh, respect him, man. Um, you know, not not saying that Virgil Hunter has a good track record because he don't, man. Um, you know, really the only winning fighter he has is RJ Ward, man. All his other guys, man, seem to um go down, man. It seems, you know, like you know, seems to seems to lose, man. No knock on Virgil Hunter, man, because his his instructions in between 
um, rounds is 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 very on point, man. Um, you know his interviews is on point. The man is very knowledgeable about the sport of boxing, man. And I think that you know he can help uh, Amir Khan. Although I did like um, Goosen, I did like Amir Khan with Joe Goosen too. I thought that was a a good matchup, man. But you know, evidently that was just temporarily because we all know Vodrum Hunter was going through some medical issues at the time, so. You know, um, Goosen was able to step in. I think he did a good job. I think they, the chemistry between the two, you know, looked to be, um, looked to be genuine and looked to be, be good, man. Um, but this fight is is not definite, you know. But this is the word on the street. Um, I think Bob Arum came out and said that you know um, it is is not definite, but they are in they are real real close. They are real real close to getting this deal done. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometime this week coming up, we should hear an announcement. Um, I think this is a very big, um, very big step up for uh, Terrence Crawford. You know, this this will, you know, definitely show, you know, what I mean, um, that he belongs at 147. Um, and this, this can also show that Amir Khan still has something left in the tank because, you know, you know, losing is not always a bad thing. It's how you lose, man. Now, if you go in there and Terrence Crawford just beat the brakes off of a man, um, Amir Khan, only option he has left is Kell Brook. But if you go in here and give it his all and give um, Terrence Crawford a very good fight, if he's able to make it to the final bell, I think that's a victory in itself. Um, you know, because cause we all know Khan can box, man. And if he can make it through... Um, the twelfth round with Terrence Crawford, then um, I don't know. I think the cards would be very, very close, man. But um, me personally, I think Terrence Crawford stops him, um, in the later rounds. But you know, like I said a couple minutes ago, this is boxing. Anything can happen. But that's the word on the street. This is your boy Big Will. Thanks for watching Big Faces Worldwide. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe comment, like, and share this video. Peace. I holla back.